had several people contact me lately. I just wrote a book called Hiatal Hernia Syndrome, and they have nicely informed me there is no such thing as hiatal hernia syndrome. So the definition of syndrome is a group of sim symptoms that occur together. So by that definition, I contend that hiatal hernia is absolutely a syndrome, uh, but if you want to look it up elsewhere, you want to look it up in medical literature, I agree it's not there. Uh, much like my first book, Gluten Sensitivity, you know, it, it was all about gluten sensitivity called The Gluten Effect. And guess what? When I wrote that book, there was no absolute concurrence around the world that there was such a thing as gluten sensitivity. Now it's frequently called non-celiac gluten sensitivity to distinguish, distinguish it between celiac disease and uh, gluten sensitivity. But the, the facts are that things begin somewhere and I feel very, very strongly about the fact that our research here at Root Cause Medical Clinics has uh, substantiated the fact, absolutely, that hiatal hernia is a syndrome. And the problem is that the conventional model looks at hiatal hernia by definition of what is a hernia? It's something that's you know coming through uh, a part of the body that it shouldn't. The, the hiatus is a hole, so a hernia is something protruding through a hole that shouldn't. And in this case, it's your stomach pushing up above your diaphragm and either going up uh, adjacent to the esophagus or just aligned with the esophagus, but, but in the incorrect position. So that, that poor stomach has gotten so compressed and so spasmed that a bit of it is forcing up through the esophagus, uh, I mean above, sorry, through the diaphragm and then opening that uh, hole to, to a larger degree and creates a lot of symptoms. Now what's so interesting about hiatal hernia syndrome is that you can have a tiny little hiatal hernia. You can have what's called a sliding hiatal hernia where it comes up and then it goes back down. So it moves up and down. You can have what we coined in our new book, a subclinical hiatal hernia. I mean, it's actually not going above at all, but what it is doing is pushing up, the, the stomach is spasming, it's pushing up on your diaphragm enough to still create this syndrome, all these various symptoms, and we've come up with 20 of them, and they occur concurrently. So we have things like the, the classic, of course, when your stomach is spasming and, and pushing upward is acid reflux, heartburn, GERD, they're all quite similar. Uh, you can have pressure in your chest, you can have shortness of breath, you can have heart palpitations, panic attacks, constipation or diarrhea, insomnia, and the list is longer than that. These are, these are the big ones. And can you have insomnia and not have a hiatal hernia? Of course. Can you have a panic attack and not have a hiatal hernia? Of course. All those symptoms, you can have shortness of breath for a, a wide variety of reasons. However, when you have hiatal hernia syndrome, what we're finding is these are symptoms that are concurrent. They're happening together and conventional medicine wants to treat them separately. Oh, you have heart palpitations. Well, of course, let's check out your heart. Oh, your heart's fine. You're short of breath. Well, let's check out your lungs. Oh, your lungs are fine. You're having a panic attack. Well, clearly, you know, you have excess anxiety, so here's your antidepressant or anti-anxiety medication. And by the way, it can have life-threatening side effects. And I'm not saying this lightly. I'm saying this because I'm annoyed. And you deserve to know that this myriad of symptoms that you can be suffering with not to mention bloating and you know you wake up in the middle of the night you know panicky uh, you can't bend over uh, you, you have to lie back to stretch things so that you can breathe maybe you used to exercise now you can hardly walk up the stairs without being short of breath yet your heart's fine and your lungs are fine and that's great that your heart is fine and your lungs are fine but does that make what you're saying and what you're feeling in your head because that's what they'll try to tell you and it's not it's absolutely not so 
it is a syndrome because all of these symptoms can occur uh, at the same time and they have the same root cause. So what is that root cause? That stomach is spasming, it's pushing up on your diaphragm and it's creating a myriad of, of symptoms. And uh, it can affect the nervous system. You can have what's called the vagus nerve be irritated. Um, the nerve that goes to your diaphragm comes from your neck. So you could have neck pain, jaw pain. People say, wow, I have pressure in my chest. I actually have pain down my left arm. Well, the nerves that go to your diaphragm and the nerves that go to your stomach actually also come from your lower neck and they can go down your, they go down your arm. And so all of this makes sense. But you go to your doctor and they don't know what to do with you as soon as they confirm your heart's fine and your lungs are fine. And then, of course, if they do an endoscopy and they say, yeah, you have acid reflux, then what? Here's your, here's your PPI. Here's your uh, acid reducer. They don't tell you you shouldn't be on it for more than two weeks without causing ill effects to digestion. They don't mention that. A lot of patients have been constipated their entire lives and they're told that's normal. None of this is normal. So I just want to reiterate, this absolutely is a syndrome. And if you are suffering with symptoms like this, please reach out. That's why we're here. And by the way, if you like this information, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share it with others. I cannot tell you how many people are suffering with hiatal hernia syndrome and have absolutely no idea, or they've just gone into a defeat and apathy about the whole thing because they've been to the doctor and the doctor's like, listen, you're fine. You're going to have to live with this. And you don't. You absolutely don't. So uh, reach out. We're happy to give you a free consultation. It's uh, Root Cause Medical Clinics, that's plural, dot com, or give us a call, 408-733-0400.